Hi, in this video we are going to see yet another contraceptive method which is intrauterine contraceptive device. So before I proceed I would like to remind that this is specifically for first year MBBS students who have got contraception as a topic in physiology because you will be learning more advanced features of IUCDs as you go on to your postings in gynecology. So uh, this is basically just a baseline information for first year MBBS students so that will be useful for their exams when a short note comes from this part okay so intrauterine contraceptive device so just as a name suggests they are intrauterine that means kept inside the uterus and helps in contraception okay so intrauterine contraceptive devices or IUCDs are inserted into the uterine, cap uh, uterine cavity for long-term contraception so see this is how an uh, IUCD will look like a t-shaped structure which is kept inside the uterus so that it will provide long-term contraception so what are the different types of IUCDs that we know of so the first one is the first generation IUD which is called the peace loop which is not used nowadays second is a second generation IUD which is copper T variants and the third generation which contains hormonal preparation also so that it has enhanced efficiency. So the examples of the third generation IUDs are progesterone as well as levonorgestrel 20 or LNG 20. So see this, these three are basically copper variants or the second generation variants whereas this is the hormonal variant. Okay. So just like in uh, other methods what we are more concerned of is the mechanism of action so how does these act or how do they provide contraception so first we will see about the second generation copper T how does it act so as you can see in this image it has got copper right so this copper will act as a foreign body and produce inflammatory reactions and so because there is inflammatory reaction there will be infiltration of leukocytes and this and so what will happen there, there's a release of chemicals which are toxic to sp uh, the sperms which in turn will impair the sperm survival leading to less chance of fertilization so basically you've got an, a very hostile environment for the sperms you've got leukocytes which are ready to engulf the sperms you've got chemicals that are toxic to the sperms so it is very difficult to sperms to survive in that hostile environment okay so thus it will prevent fertilization not only that because of this inflammatory reactions the uterine endometrial wall is not very conducive for an implantation to occur so it prevents implantation also so basically here the villain is the copper so the copper will produce inflammatory reactions which will kill the sperms as well as prevent implantation right now the next is the hormone releasing IUCDs okay so here you can see that there is no copper here for this contraceptive device so the mechanism of action is it makes the cervical mucus thick, just, just like your OCPs here also the home the action of the hormonal content is the same it will make the cervical mucus thick it will make the uterus unsuitable for implantation and thereby prevents pregnancy okay so the sperms cannot enter and even if they enter the uterus is not conducive for implantation so next we'll see about the advantages and disadvantages of these IUCDs so what are the advantages good thing is that it is inexpensive cost effective the insertion technique is simple there can, can there can be long term actions and uh, less systemic side effects and there is prompt reversibility of fertility in a, unlike your implants or subdermal implants here there is prompt return of fertility and thus it can be used as a good spacing method and it is also used for planning as i said it is useful in planning the spacing of births but in spite of all these advantages we've got disadvantages also so the disadvantages are that it cannot protect against sexually transmitted diseases unlike your mechanical methods or barrier methods which prevents STDs your intrauterine contraceptive device cannot protect against STDs it can fall off from the uterus and thus monitoring is required and that is the basis for the thread which is outside that uh, kept outside that uh, uterus and then there are chances of infection it can cause pain and excessive bleeding and also there is an important risk for ectopic pregnancy so these are the disadvantages of IUCDs but when we compare the risk versus benefit ratio IUCDs are 
obviously much more comfortable for women who wants proper spacing between the births because this is uh, inexpensive it does not have any problems like ocps there, are, there is more compliance because for oral contraceptive pills we have to take one every day there are problems of missing the tablet but here in this case once we insert it there is long term contraception and you don't have to worry about it just have to monitor whether the thread is outside or not so in general from a medical point of view iu series are considered better when compared to the mechanical as well as the oral contraceptive pills so i hope this question is usually asked as a short note so you can write about the different types the mechanism of action as well as the advantages and disadvantages for this so i hope this concept is clear thank you